my first meeting with uh, Gerard and Chris, we went to lunch uh, in L.A. And um, uh, they just sort of, you know, gave me their whole pitch. I had already signed on, but, you know, they're, uh, they're so passionate and energetic and lovely individuals. And, um, and their heart is just so wildly connected to this story and to the movie. And, you know, they have done commercials and music videos and very provocative, uh, you know, PSAs and, and, um, but to move into the feature world for the first time, there's something really infectious about being around people like that. Shooting on um, an actual plantation is, uh, is such an invaluable part of the story because it, I mean, really, you get out of the van and you walk a couple feet and, and it's like there's no acting required. You know, everywhere you look is, is a real plantation. And so there's no... Um, you know, end of the facade. It's it's there 360 degrees around you. Even the weather, you know, I find the humidity and the heat um, another character in this movie and the dust and the dirt. And uh, so all of it, it's, just, it's not something you could do in California, really. You know, I, I think being in the South is really um, an inherent part of, of uh, the believability of all this so that you watch the film and you truly believe it's a... Um, it's a period of, of time that you're within. I'm a big fan of DPs. I, I, I like to sit behind the monitors as much as possible and just watch how they make pictures. You know, Gerard and Chris have talked from the beginning about making paintings throughout this movie, that they had inspiration boards of paintings. And, and to watch the Gerard and Chris work with um, Pedro on, on framing these images up and the colors within them and how lush and rich and beautiful they are, that... In many ways, they're they're making something that looks like Gone with the Wind. That's that's seemingly very beautiful, and underneath it is this seed of just um, horrific behavior. So to watch them manipulate colors and and uh, you know there's a fire in the cabin a few times, and sometimes it's very red fire, and the whole cabin is lit red like a horror film, and and other times it's a very natural looking light. So it's um, he's uh, pretty brilliant at, at what he does, and it's. So much fun for me to watch them um, make each puzzle piece. He has a presence on screen that is, uh, that is power. I mean, he's just a um, beautiful human being. And when the camera gets on him, he's just, um, he, he glows, you know. So I, I, um, I'm really excited to see his, his uh, performance here. I don't think I'm the only one that notices that... Um, a lot of what's coming out these days is a remake or a sequel or a, another version of something that we've already seen. And, and I'm always thirsty and hungry for um, original stories. And um, this has that in spades. And I'm, it's part of the reason I wanted to be a part of it. It's not something we've seen before.